one of the reasons I don't want, I never wanted to really do blind playthroughs was because, because my first one was Portal. I did Portal um, as my first blind playthrough, and I absolutely hated Portal. And everyone hyped it up, and everyone hyped this game up and stuff like that. So I'm just like, oh no, I don't want to hate this. And I was like worried that I was going to end up playing it and being complaining all the way through, but I'm really enjoying this. Do, 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 do. Yo, I've heard the um, the wind song enough times. I think at the end of the next level, I might attempt to play it on guitar along to it. Hopefully, it'll pick up through the headset. That was actually pretty easy. That one. I thought it'd be a lot harder. Sounds so awesome that end of music. Yes. Yes. Stick. <laughs> that Sonic symbol on there looks so derpy. He's like leaning his head forward, like ooh, <laughs> like he's got hunched back. <laughs> oh, down the hole we go. Oh no. Okay. I have no idea what that thing is, but it helped me get to the past earlier, so I have to remember that, just in case I need to use it. We Past. No, I'm falling. Well, that's one way to go to the best. Spring yard zone stuff right there. Right. That's one little detail I haven't mentioned. That um symbol, that, like how Sonic's life symbol becomes like a P or an F to show that he's not born yet. Or he's not around anymore. Kind of cool. Now, I want to go up there, but I end up going too fast whenever I try to do some spring yard zone rolling about. There we go. There's a lot of enemies in the past. Ow. Bow. I love exploring these levels, they look really nice and pretty. It's like pretty fun to have like sort of a more open Sonic game to go with exploring. Or at least side scrolling one of me. Oh look. Get out of my way. Right. Nope. Nope. Not going to the future. Future's bad. The future's bad. We need to make it better for the children. Right, um... Oh! Awesome! Well, that's one thing taken care of. Let's go find Sonic. Metal Sonic. I once knew how to say Metal Sonic in Japanese, but I don't know how to say it anymore. I was never good at other languages. Although, at one point, I was learning Russian. I, like, I developed a proper accent and everything, it was great, but, like, it's sort of worn off because I've not really kept up with it. Uh, okay, we've been down here. Just want to make sure. It's music. Oh, there you are. You're stomping on a bunny rabbit this time. Take that, Bogs Binny. Uh, we better save him anyway, though. Yes, yeah, this level's got really good music in general. Let's carry on. More springs. I think we have saved the universe. We have found the vault. Boink. Music. 
Sonic made a good future in Zone 2, which should be Act 2, but we called it Zone because we wanted to be slightly different since the Sega company split apart at this point and wanted to make two different Sonic games, or whatever it was. It was something along those lines. I know the story behind it. it like, one people made Sonic 2, but then like other people wanted to make Sonic CD and then they sort of made separate games because uh, the ideas weren't working together very well or something. It's kind of interesting. Interesting history. It's kind of interesting how um, they managed to make two Sonic games that were similar, but they both like evolved the first game. It was kind of cool. Look at it, right in the middle of all the traps. And Sonic gets himself the blue, not Chaos Emerald. You're my boy, blue. Yes. <laughs> Another Sonic extra life. Just tapping over his foot away. Yeah, that piano is really weird at the start of this song. Like, it, it just doesn't sound... Oh, what the hell? Was that robotic? Looks like we're going up here. Okay. Welcome to the Casino Night Zone! Or oh, Sonic Spinball. Probably resembles Sonic Spinball a bit more than anything else. And I got lucky there. Uh, no. That's what I get for trying to jump up through the middle. Sonic Spinball mechanics, everybody. Right. Nope, oh, almost got up there. There's so much junk in the way. We used to get up there. Yeah, this is that, um, that music that's on that creepy screen that everyone's like terrified of or something in this game. I'll show it off at some point. Like, once I'm on like, the sound test, I'll show it off. Because then I can show you that fun is infinite. According to Sega. Yours. Nope. Don't jump on spikes again, Sonic. Okay, do it anyway. That's okay. Okay, maybe it's not okay. Got ya! Another case of Super Easy Robotnik. It's, I heard like the bosses were pretty easy in this game, but I didn't think it was as easy. At the same time, I heard that they redid them slightly for the re-releases, but... I don't know, it still seemed pretty easy to me. I keep forgetting to get the guitar out and do it. I'll do it on the next one. But anyway guys, I'm going to cut the recording here. Um, just so um, we don't have a massive long, like, 40 minute file. So, uh, yeah, and to avoid any problems. So, um, thanks for watching this episode, and I'll see you for the next episode, which I'll be recording now, anyway. So, yeah, see you in the, for the next episode.